it's so pretty. I don't even want to say how much I spent on this. I believe it's only sold online. <laughs> Hi everyone, in today's video I have a surprise package from my friend Kay or in Rooted Love on Instagram. I think it's a plant because it says the potted elephant on it. I'm really excited to open it. I think I might know what it is because we did a Summer Hydroponics live Q&A over on Instagram. I told her I had zero Hoyas and she, since she's like the Hoya queen she was very shocked by it. <laughs> I think I know what this is, but let's see. Let's see if I'm right. I can't believe she went and got me a plant. You're so sweet, Kay. Here's what it looks like. Okay, so the plant was taped down like this, so that's good. Didn't go shifting everywhere. Here it is. It feels like it's heavy. This is packaged incredibly well. I believe I'm following the potted elephant on Instagram. I've never ordered from them before though. I knew it! Oh my god, it's so pretty! Hang on. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. She's so sweet. Oh my goodness. I have my first Hoya. This is a Hoya curtsy eye. <laughs> Shows how little I know about Hoyas. It's a Hoya Cartesii. So the packaging was great. I think there was like one little leaf that fell off, but other than that, everything was contained well. I just have to carefully take this stuff off. This is beautiful. Okay, so I know a lot of people who are obsessed with Hoyas are gonna be like, what the heck is wrong with you? Why are you not into Hoyas? Why don't you have a single Hoya? And I don't know. When I would go to search for it online, everything, it would always be sold out. So I never purchased it. Oh my gosh, it's so, are they fuzzy? It's like fuzzy. It's so cool. I, if you've seen any of my other vid videos, I have a thing for trailing succulent type plants. It reminds me of a string of hearts. It's not a heart shape, but it's it's like a teardrop shape. And then it has the, these splashes of silver. Can you see? Is it focusing on my face or the plant? So it has this cool model design basically from photos I, I guess I wasn't expecting that it's so incredibly full I need to check out the potted elephant it looks like it's like a five inch pot wow and I'm over here like still picking out the paper pieces like look at this oh my gosh it's full it's trailing it's beautiful i love it i got my first hoya from the hoya queen thank you so much Kay. Kay is the sweetest person ever so go check her out wow it's so cute so this won't be the end of this video because i am expecting some more plant mail i have a problem ever since i moved into this place it is more space to fill for someone who does a lot of content surrounding plants i don't have a crazy amount of plants in my opinion when we moved here i felt like i needed to get more plants we moved to a place that has multiple levels so i have to fill out <laughs> The levels especially when i'm still working on the downstairs i'm really excited about decorating downstairs it's the first thing that you see when you go into our house i want downstairs to have like a different vibe to it i need more plants for downstairs i don't know where this is gonna go yet stay tuned for another unboxing that'll combine with this video hi everyone it's a different day but i have some more plant mail so i'm gonna go ahead and unbox it i'm really excited for this one this is something i already have I have a feeling this might be bare rooted. I don't know. So it looks like this, as most of my plant mail does. I'm gonna have to vacuum. It has like tissues on top and then it's taped down. Okay. So here's what it looks like. I got another variegated string of hearts. Definitely a barely trailing plant and has a long way to go before it does start to trail, but hopefully it'll grow fast. And then we also got, okay, so I'll be honest, I thought it was going to be more full. I mean, they're healthy plants. Oh, shoot. They are healthy plants though, but yeah, I got two variegated string of hearts. I was thinking of combining them. Yeah, 
So it is now like a week later. So I ordered a couple other plants that I was doing an unboxing for and I decided not to post because of my disappointment in how much I paid and what I really ended up getting. But I will show what the plant looks like now. But before I get into that, my husband, my sweet, sweet husband, who he actually got me the camera that I currently film on. This camera is like really old now, but I mean, it still works. It's a Sony A5100 and I actually, I do like it. It just does overheat. Often I can't do like a sit down video without stopping it multiple times. He ended up getting me the brand new camera that came out. It's a Sony ZV-1. So it made for vloggers and stuff. So it has really cool features, but I'm so excited to use this. Just because I started this video a little while back already, I don't want the camera quality to change like right in the middle of it. So I'm gonna start using that camera for my next videos. I actually just posted on my Instagram today some exciting news. So, I mean, it has to do with my actual career. I do YouTube for fun, but I am currently a nurse practitioner in a family practice setting and I just accepted a new job for my dream job. It's an aesthetic nurse practitioner position and also a first assistant surgery. And I can't believe I'm getting this opportunity. I'm making the switch over in July. I'm so excited. Let's get into the plants. I don't even want to say how much I spent on this because it's kind of shocking. This is the most that I've ever personally spent on a plant. I thought it was gonna come way more variegated. It actually looks better on camera for some reason than it does in person to me. I'm looking at the camera lens and it looks like it's more variegated, but like in person, it's not as impressive especially for the amount of money that I paid for it. And it was a little bit more yellow when it first came and then somehow it's like a little bit more green now, so that's good. So hopefully it starts to turn way more variegated. That looks like it has some white on it, so that's good. So there is that, my variegated epiprenum panetum. Now I'm gonna take you into my bathroom. It's a little bit dark because it's, it's like seven o'clock in the morning. I'll start there. This, oh, that plant's new too. This is a Synapsis Pictus Silvery Anne. So the other one I have is an Exotica, so it's a different variety. And this, I mean, it has some silver, it's a, it's a Silvery Anne, but like it doesn't have that much silver in it, so you know. But this macrame is so freaking adorable. And my friend Mela actually made it for me. So yeah, it's really cute in that corner. We got the basic mirror there, our sink, and then you know like with every single sink I have these amber glass bottles and the label that I have talked about like a million times. This is from Target online. I believe it's only sold online. I was browsing for the perfect hand towel. It's obviously a Monstera Deliciosa, but I didn't want green. I needed like the... I almost fell. <laughs> I needed like the neutral and I just love it. It's really soft and everything too. So above the toilet, I made this. I made this actually a couple years ago now, but it's like the first macrame I think I really made. And that stick, I found it on a height. I followed some simple tutorial and then, you know, we got that. And then right to the side of it is our trash can. I think this one's really cute. This one's from Target. I like how it has a little cover so, you know, you don't see the trash. Dang it, I should have filmed it like that. Okay, here's a better look. <laughs> All right, I mean, the plant is cute and everything, but, you know, it needs more silver on it. I think that's gonna be the end of this video. That's it, thanks for watching, bye.